uh, my interest was in describing the organization of the motor cortex from the point of view of the input coming into this region. So we studied how the monkey, the, the motor system, react when we present uh, object. And our first discovery was that in the motor system there are many neurons which fire when the monkey observes an object. Now these neurons are known as canonical neurons. Because what they do, they are transforming the affordances present in an object in a way you can grasp it. For example, you have a small peanuts, you grasp like that, and uh, it's enough to observe the peanuts that you immediately have already in your mind, in your brain, how to grasp it. This visual motor transformation is made immediately in the parietal lobe and premotor cortex. So we were studying this in a very etologic, I already mentioned it before, that contrary to most motor physiologists, we were using a very informal approach with the monkey. We were giving food to, he, to the monkey, we were looking at how the monkey was grasping the food and so on. So we were in a specific situation. And then we noticed it, uh, that in some cases it was not enough to show an object to the monkey, but we have to grasp the object. So it should be object and a hand grasping it. And that was really unexpected because we found neurons which were firing when we did that. And the most interesting point was there was a clear congruence between our action and the action done by the monkey. So we are in the motor cortex, the monkey grasping this way. If the monkey sees myself grasping in the same way, there is a discharge. If I do something else, like pushing away or just waving my hands, nothing happens. So we discover neurons which respond to visual stimuli, require a person acting on the object, and should be a congruence between what the monkey is able to do and what we are doing. So this is the definition of mirror neurons. So a neuron which fire both when the monkey does something specific and observe something of the same kind done by another individual. At the beginning we were very scared because since we were in the motor system we were afraid that the monkey is simply doing some movement with the hand which escaped our notice. So for several months and almost years we made a control recording EMG, recording other parameters to be sure that that was really a monkey response due to presentation of visual stimulus rather than something that she performed. Then we became uh, conscious it was something important and as an anecdote we sent the paper to Nature and Nature said that it's not interesting <laughs> because they said it's uh, something which is very interesting for physiologists but have no broad interest for the public. Then we sent to another journal, Experimental Brain Research, and the director sent me congratulations, saying that that very important paper, he is sure that it will be very highly cited. It's true, it has been cited more than 2,000 times. 